My name is Mary Moses and I call myself the Oracle. I do an art technique I call the art of seeing. This is where I cover a piece of paper with charcoal and I'm able to talk to spirit guides, your deceased loved ones, and even find truths that go back all the way to ancient times. This particular person um, that I just did the art of seeing for has um, connections to someone uh, from 300 BC. And I want us as a spiritual community to think about these concepts and these symbols and see if the truth that I'm coming to is the truth that you find as well. And just keep it as an open, open discussion. I created three pieces for Indigo. These three pieces contain a myriad of symbologies that explain who she is or who she was. I'm not sure if it's her reincarnated. I'm not sure if it's within her spiritual DNA or her blood DNA, but the person that she is is Mithra. And the answers that I came, that I have found really kind of surprised me. And so we're going to talk about these symbols and how she is connected to Mithra. Mithra is known as Mer, is the Zoroastrian angelic deity of covenant, light, and oath, a judicial figure of the protector of truth. Mithra originates in 300 BC in Iran, connected with beautiful weapons, the harvest and the waters, guardian of cattle, but most importantly, a judicial figure that is the protector of truth and justice. One symbol that is telling that you are connected to Mithra is the bridge. Twice you are shown the rainbow bridge. Mithra is connected to the Shinvat bridge. This is the bridge of judgment. It is a rainbow bridge. It is beam shaped bridge and it separates the world from the living and the world for, from the dead. If you have activated your light rainbow body, you will be taken over the bridge to the house of song, to Ahura Mazda. While we were talking about the rainbow bridge in one of my lives, a rainbow bridge appeared on the art with the face of a woman. It was pretty extraordinary. Some of us were crying and it was very magical. So this deity or this angelic being is communicating with us and is very connected with indigo. Notice the wand or the staff or the weapon that you are pointing toward the bridge in your original art. Mithra is often associated with weapons or wands, as we can see here in these ancient carvings of Mithra. Now, Mithra is described as a he. However, from my research, I found some contradicting symbologies. So this is a symbol or a carving of Mithra as a male with a beard. This is Mithra as a lion holding a sword. This is Mithra holding an orb and look seemingly male. This is a Mithra coin. However, this is Mithra as a female. And this coin shows Mithra as both male and female. So let's look closer. This is Mithra under a rainbow. And on the corner of Mithra is a mermaid. So we know the mermaid energy to be both male and female, androgynous. It is much likened to Dagon, the fish god, who was androgynous, both male and female. So notice Mithra is cut in half. The other half of, of her hem is underwater. The story of Mithra includes a sacrifice of a bull, and the bull is not cut by the throat. It is cut in half, like a mermaid being cut in half. Notice the horn of the bull looking like a phallus and the ear looking like a female genital area. Notice the rainbow over Mithra and the male and female on each upper corner. When the bull was sacrificed, the sacrifice created a magical uh, occurrence which made the bull transform into the moon. So here you have the moon above your head and an alien with a head that looks like the moon. And again, on your second piece, the moon is showcased at 11 o'clock with the number 11. So 
the, this moon energy has something to do with a sacrifice. It's much likened to Christ. Now notice the orb. Ancient pictures show Mithra holding an orb. Here you are holding an orb. And then here you are again holding an orb. I do not know what the orb means. The cap of Mithra you have in your piece as well. And it's important as the cap is a symbol. Here at three o'clock, you have the bird that looks like the cap of Mithra. And then here there is a cap of Mithra at one o'clock. Mithra is also associated with many eyes and you have many eyes in your piece. This is the all seeing eye, the eye that never sleeps. Let's also talk about the weapon, the knife. Your divinity is you holding a knife and seemingly want, wanting to take down or kill a realm, the realm of seven. You are a judge of truth and you're wanting to take down the lies. Notice this ancient art of Mithra standing by a doorway with the number seven, the female on the outside, the male on the inside, and you are trying to cut in half the realm of seven because it is not truth, it is lies. You can see the knife cutting the number seven here. So you wanted clarity and truth when it comes to communication from spirit and you received it. You are Mithra. You judge those who wear the helmet and you send them to a lower realm. Those who are ready to ascend over the seven colors of the rainbow as you are associated with the seven stars of the sun as well. Like Dorothy, they will go over the rainbow to the house of song. Cygnus and the cross is also associated with Mithra. The reason you chose me to read for you is because I often talk about Dorothy and the Seven Colors of the Rainbow, Harry Potter and the Seven Book Series, how both of their names equal 11. They both lived with their aunts and uncles. They both left muggles and munchkins. They are both a witch and a wizard. They both went to a castle. It goes on and on. It's the same story. And so this story is talking about how we were once androgynous and we were cut in half. So Adam was cut into Eve. And so what, who is Mithra? Mithra is Christ. Christ was androgynous, both male and female, and is associated with Dagon, the fish god, which is why the Pope and the priests wear Dagon fish clothing. Dare I say that all gods are the same? They're just told in different stories in order to per perpetuate separatism between religions and people. I will say if Christ was the sacrifice that transformed into the moon, and then suddenly Christ is depicted as the sun. It's as if his transformational process went from the moon to the sun. But I'm not sure about that. I will say that the seven wounds of Christ reflects a transformation, a resurrection into his rainbow light body and over the seven color rainbow bridge to the house of song, which is the mansion of many rooms. You are Mithra, the judge of truth. Those who connect with you will be confronted with the rainbow bridge. They will either go to the house of song or to the lower realm of seven. Like Nuit being a rainbow body, under the rainbow is a realm of learning and over the rainbow is ascension to a heavenly powerful place, kind of like Hogwarts. I will add that it seems as if the gods come from under the water, not up in the sky.